Hey Scrappers, Tom here from iScrap, and I want to answer one of the most important questions when it comes to ferrous versus non-ferrous metals. Now, I have a lot of friends in the town that I live in that have absolutely no idea about recycling. So when we talk about our jobs to one another, they go, oh, what do you do? And I say, oh, I own a scrapyard and I buy metal. They go, oh, what do you mean, like aluminum cans? And I say, no, I buy more things in cans because, you know, I actually don't even buy cans. And they go, well, well what, is, what are some things that you buy? So let me show you some of the things that I explained to them that they could find in their house. So one of the first things I tell them is all of the cords that go to the back of your computers, your TVs, that have these ends, whether they're USBs, like a phone charger, or a power supply for a computer. These are common things that we get in, and once I start to explain to them that there's copper inside, they start to get a better understanding. The next thing I try to tell them, in their houses, the light switches and the electrical outlets get turned on by having copper wire run. They may never see something like this Romex, but I try to explain to them that inside the walls there's all this different wire. These different wires have three different conductors. They go to the light switches. They go to the lights in the house. They go to the ovens. They go to the refrigerator. All the wire that is hidden inside the walls are things that people don't think about because when you just walk in as a homeowner, let's say you're a teacher. You may know nothing about recycling other than newspapers, plastics, and things like that. This is a completely different perspective, and when I try to teach my friends and other scrappers what ferrous and non-ferrous is, this gives them a better idea. Now, what is non-ferrous? Non-ferrous are items that do not stick to magnets. Here I have a magnet in front of me. Now, this magnet it doesn't stick to the wire, it doesn't stick to these brass ends, it doesn't stick to the copper. So I tell them, think about a magnet on your refrigerator. If that magnet sticks, then it's sticking to something called steel or a ferrous metal. And a ferrous metal has a sticking quality. Now I say, all right, look, this is a piece of a computer. When you have a piece of a computer and you put a magnet on it, that's something that's ferrous. Other items that they may not think about could be things like refrigerators, could be microwaves, could be carcasses from like computer towers, right? Old lawn chairs, furniture, things like that. Things that rust is a really good way to think of ferrous metals. Where when you think of non-ferrous, what does that mean? That means doesn't rust, right? Non-ferrous metals would be your coppers your aluminum. So I've actually shown something like this. This is very, from a mop. You can see the button on the top. You can see the handle here. And there would be like a Swiffer thing on the bottom. This is a piece of aluminum. So I show them there's metal all throughout their houses that they don't think about. I say, does anyone have a fence in their house? Look at this railing. All the fence railings in many people's homes are made of aluminum. Many awnings are made from aluminum. Other things that people don't think about when it comes to copper is copper pipes. How does water come out of the spigot? How does water get drained? How do you take a shower without having copper and having water go through it? So I start to tell them that things like this that don't stick to a magnet are other pieces of metal that we recycle. Now another thing that people may not think about, you know, every holiday season you take your Christmas lights, you plug them in either inside the tree or outside your house on the bushes or the windows, right? But this is copper wire and I try to tell them, you know, listen, remember the last time you went to plug your lights in and you didn't know which bulb was out and you just kind of threw them away? These are things that people recycle that can be made into new items, whether it's for electric vehicles, other types of wire, or who knows what goes into electronics. And what I try to explain to people is that metal is everywhere that you think about. It's in your car. It's in the engine. It's in electric motors for the fans that go over inside your bedrooms. It's in some of the walls making up some of the framing. It's in the garage door that you use. And people don't think about how metal is all over the place. They just think about goods that they buy. So to give you a quick recap, two different types of metals in my mind to make it easy. Ferrous, that would be something that sticks to a magnet. When it sticks, it's not gonna fall off. That's a ferrous item. Now, I'm not talking about lots of different grades, just ferrous versus non-ferrous. And then, if it's a ferrous item, what would be the opposite of ferrous? Non-ferrous, and that would be something like your copper. No stick. 
The wire, no stick. Your Christmas lights, no stick. These are items that we try to explain to people the differences so they start to understand what recycling is past aluminum cans, past plastic bottles and old paper and cardboard. The recycling business is one that is completely essential and really should be taken seriously because it's such a humongous driver to the entire world economy. Hopefully this gives you a really good idea on ferrous versus non-ferrous. Any questions? Let us know. Thanks for checking out this scrap video. For more exclusive scrap video content, please become a YouTube member of our channel today. Thank you and I'll scrap you later.